Hello everybody, my name is Shill Skills and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be doing a quick little tutorial in DaVinci Resolve to showcase a problem that a lot of users have been having when editing videos and recording high quality audio and then exporting the video and the audio is just trash. And so I wanna show you the quick fix that I found that allows me to keep all of the tracks of audio that I have, whether it's sound effects, background music, or the actual recording of the microphone itself, and then making sure it's all high quality the way you recorded it when you export the file. So here I have just a simple little timeline put together of my little animated character and then uh, two little audio tracks. And typically I was having a problem getting this second audio track to show up, whether it was my background music for shorts or other things like that. And the audio in general is just sounding like trash. So I was missing an audio track and it was just sounding super compressed. And so I found out that it's in the deliver tab. Uh, the big problem that I was having was that I was selecting my format for the file container as MP4, even though I was still doing H.264 and I had a bunch of other options. So I was using MP4 and that was really my problem because in MP4, you only have the AC or AAC codec that you can uh, record in and export in. And it's not great for a lot of situations, especially if you're using high quality audio for most little like phone videos and stuff like that, it's fine. But when you're using a high quality setup with XLR inputs and everything like that, it's a little bit difficult. So what I ended up doing is switching my file format container into QuickTime. Uh, still using H.264, and then in the audio file, I actually have linear PCM as an option now, and most microphones, especially of this quality, tend to record in 24-bit depth, which allows them to have a deeper, wider range sound, a lot more waveforms to play with, that kind of thing, and it allows all of those bandwidths and all of those tracks to be compressed into one, giving a little bit more space within the container of the file to actually, you know, make make the right file when you set it to deliver tab. And then I uh, fix those settings in most of my videos. I have a default for DaVinci now, but those are the two things that I found that make my audio sound a lot better and that um, give me all the tracks that I have edited, whether it's background music or my microphones, that kind of thing. I send that to the render queue and then they sound great. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section down below. My name is Shill Skills yet again. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.